I, Harshita Bhati, Assistant Professor, IT Department, Biani Group of Colleges. Now, today we are discussing about the data communication. So, we are covering the topics are introduction, communication system, characteristics, components, data representation and data flow. So, starting from the first, that is introduction. So, our first question is, what is communication? Communication is sharing information from one node to another or we can say sender to receiver through some medium. So, uh, data communication is sharing information through some medium from receiver to sender or sender to receiver. There are basically two types of communication, there is local or remote communication. In local communication usually occurs face to face close communication and global or remote communication which is take distance or apart there is a far communication. So now communication system, communication system it is a system through which communication is done or it, it is a system through which transmission and uh, the processing of data transformation is done. Uh, there is a two things which are needing for need for communication. First is physical equipment, second is software. Software basically program or some application through which communication is done and physical equipment that is a physical pathway or some medium through which communication is done like wire, cables or some physical uh, optical cables etc. Characteristics. Characteristics of communication. Uh, there are different characteristics of communication. Uh, now we are discussing the second topic that is characteristic of data communication. We, are, we have delivery, accuracy, timelineness and jitter. So, next topic is component of data communication. So there we have five components of main data communication. First message, send, second sender, third receiver, fourth transmission medium and fifth protocol. So we have one sender side, this is a transmission medium through which we can transmit the data. Next this is a receiver side who receives the data and we have some protocols. A set of rules which follows to transmit, sending or receiving the data. In components, a message which is a information or which is a main data which transmit from some physical path from sender to receiver to follow some protocol. Sender, sender who sends the data to receiver and receiver who receives the data from sender transmission is a medium or a pathway pathway through which data can transmit one uh, from one node to another from uh, cables wires or some optical cables etc protocol that is rules now representation data representation data representation we have numbers characters images video And audio. Numbers, uh, data representation, data representation through uh, various ways. First is number, second is character, third is images, fourth is video and audio. Images is basically uh, transmits through a matrix form, audio and video which is used uh, still images or a music or a sound. Now have a data flow. We have three types of data flow. First simplex, second half duplex 
and third multi duplex in simplex a sender and a receiver have unidirection path a sender receiver unidirection and a data data flow in a single direction one at a time when sender sends a data receiver cannot send the data from another side only sender sends a data and receiver receive the data at the same time same in half duplex in half duplex sender and receiver and it is half duplex at the one time sender receiver re sends a data and sender receiver receives the data only at the one time both not receives or send or transmits the data at the same time simultaneously in the multi diamond multi multiplex it is a bi directional process in which sender receiver both simultaneously sends or receive the data at the same time so this is the data flow of the data communication now our next topic is topology topology it is basically it is a way in which network is laid we have different types of topology first mesh second bus third ring and fourth star now in mesh topology a uh, mesh topology topology in which basically stations are all stations are connected with each other for transmitting the data through which each station connect with another station transmission of data is flexible nodes are connected with each other data transmit in one place to another place is easy in bus in bus topology there is a single hub this is a hub and this is the stations through hub data transmit one by one at a station in linear way ring topology in ring topology there is a ring way path in which no hubs are there only one node to another node connected with a uh, connected with a ring this is a ring path and this is the stations through a node a uh, one message deliver one message deliver one station to another and another to another station through which information passed in a ring way the disadvantage of this ring if one station is failure so the process is been break it is a disadvantage of ring topology now star topology in star topology there is a hub which is connected to the stations directly or indirectly all stations are connected with each other also and with hubs also and this is the stations so through which hubs 
is connected with stations and stations are also interconnected with each other. Hubs uh, transmit the information from station to station also and if in case single hub uh, sorry single stations are break or some falls so through hub it can transmit